Good morning once again to the listeners of Warehouse Christian Radio. It's my privilege to share this devotion with you this morning. And if you were following with me yesterday, I did a presentation on the birth of Christ from the perspective of the shepherds. And this morning, I want to share with you the birth of Christ from the perspective of the wise men. In Matthew chapter 2, verse 1 and 2, it says, Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men came from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who is born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. So who were these wise men? You see, they were wealthy, elite men who were astrologers that came from the east. As astrologers, they studied the stars and the star that guided them, they realized that this was no ordinary star. This was uh, no comet or planet that was visible. This was no ordinary star since it, it led them to the one who was born to be king of the Jews. And when he had come naturally in search of a king, they went to Jerusalem. And after consulting with Herod and Herod calling the, the other scribes and the high priests, to find out who is this child who was born king of the Jews. And, and they had led the wise men to Bethlehem, which was a little shepherding town, but also a town that was the birthplace of King David, the, the king whom the Lord had made a covenant with that the scepter will not depart from his throne. And ultimately, the king of kings, the Lord Jesus Christ, also was born in Bethlehem. As we go down this passage to verse number 11, it says, And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Then opening their treasures, they offered him gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. You know, when the wise men found Jesus, they acknowledged that he was king. Remember when they, when they went looking for him and they inquired uh, uh, concerning him to Herod, they asked, where is he that was born king of the Jews? Not one who was going to be king, but they acknowledged that he was born king of the Jews. While the shepherds, yesterday we spoke about the shepherds, whilst they went looking for their shepherd and they found their king, these wise men who went searching for their king, they were redirected to Bethlehem, the shepherding town. They were redirected from finding their king. They were redirected to find their shepherd. You see, this child was no ordinary child. He was born to be shepherd and king. Not, an, uh, not a, uh, a leader like, like King Herod who was a dictator, but one, a king who will serve his people. So these elite wise men were led to maybe what people would call an insignificant town that wasn't so insignificant after all. They were led to this town called Bethlehem, a town which produced not just King David, but they, a town that produced the greatest king ever, which is King Jesus. And when they found him, their immediate response was to bow down and worship King Jesus. They worshiped as they presented their gifts to him of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. You see, they recognized that he wasn't just born to be king. They recognized that he was born king of the Jews. The wise men and the shepherds, they've taught us something. They taught us that when you come before Christ, whether you are a lowly shepherd or an elite wise man, it doesn't matter your status or your position or wealth. When you encounter King Jesus, our natural response should be to bow down and to worship the King. This Christmas season, I trust that you will encounter the Christ, the Son of the living God. And based on this encounter with Him, it would lead you towards worshiping the true reason for this season. God bless you.